Hey guys, welcome to Brazil. Uh, I've just crossed over a couple of days ago from um, Bolivia and now we're in a place called um, the Pantanal. It's a massive, massive wetland. It's the biggest wetland in the world. Um, and today I've, I'm camping just back there and today I thought I'd go for a ride some tracks um, see some stuff here already like the amount of birds here is like it, it's actually like uh, arguably the best place in the world to see wildlife even more so than the Amazon um, mostly because uh, this road to get in here is called the Trans Pantaneria and it's a road they tried to build all the way through uh, for access but uh, stopped not even halfway uh, they only did like 150 kilometers of dirt and um, either they gave up I think because of the the fact that it floods so much because uh, it's wetlands or they gave up because of environmental reasons either way so the, the road in is um, spectacular because on the sides of the roads all the wetlands and there's just crocodiles and birds and like everything you can imagine um, for, from like a wetland area so um, very very spectacular. So there's not many people here. Um, it's actually winter, but it's so bloody hot. Uh, it's already like it's only 10:30 in the morning, and it's already almost 30 degrees. Um, um, from in, in regards to like height, obviously we're coming down from Bolivia uh, off the Andes. Um, Bolivia flattens out around Santa Cruz. Uh, it's only about 400 meters, but now we're about 100 and 150 uh, meters. So really nothing. Um, so yeah, so here you have like just heaps and heaps of these like lakes, uh, mangroves. So hopefully we can see some crocodiles because um, I did some research on them last night. Um, they're called caiman here. Yeah, they're not called crocodiles. Um, I don't know too much about the history there, um, but let's quickly have a look around here. Um, it's actually quite a good success story because uh, the in the 70s and 80s they were actually skinned um, for their for the crocodile leather for like wallets and stuff. Uh, I guess because they're so easy to shoot in the um, wetlands here, um, and apparently it was actually quite dangerous for the locals because the poachers were very very violent they so tourism wasn't very big here because it was almost like a cartel they were killing they must have killed millions apparently um and and yeah so i think in the 90s or early 90s they or late 80s they banned poaching them um for conservation reasons and also obviously because of the danger of for the locals hey guys welcome to the trans panton area uh this is the road that they, the Brazilian government built. Um, not sure when, but its goal was to open up this region um, a bit better. Uh, for I'm not sure what region, but the long story short, the um, they stopped only 150 kilometres in, um, either because it was it would flood because of the wet season. This is all water, uh, and, or it was for conservation reasons because. Apparently, by putting a road through of it, you can block a lot of waterways and actually cause uh, the whole water, the way the water flows, to be um, to be broken. So, so now there's this road uh, uh, that kind of cuts into about only 150 kilometres into the Pantanal, um, and yeah, for wildlife, it's apparently the best place in the world to see wildlife because it's quite uh, a lot of it's concentrated on this road. Um, obviously the best time is sunrise and definitely sunset so now it's about 11 in the morning uh, so I'm gonna go for a walk in sunset because I, I, I camped here last night and the amount of birds you could you, like you couldn't even hear yourself think it was amazing all the toucans and beautiful beautiful uh, massive like colorful um, cockatoos and uh, just incredible birds I've never seen before that only exist in this region um, so yeah, so this is the road. It's it's all dirt. Um, so and there's very little traffic on it, uh, and it's dead straight. Like the the pan 
Uh, the Pantanal is um, the biggest wetlands in the world. Uh, as I said, it is the most common place to see wildlife, even more so than, especially birds, even more so than the Amazon. Um, I think the reason for that is it's because it's flat, you can actually see the birds um, more because it's obviously a wetland, whereas the Amazon is such a thick forest, there's probably a lot of birds there, you just obviously can't see them because um, it's very up and down, there's a lot of forests, and unless you're in a helicopter or gliding or something, um, it's very, very hard to see them, but that's not the case here. Uh, you can see a lot of birds. I haven't been to any major towns here yet um, because I've come straight from Bolivia into this area. And yeah, from here, uh, I'll probably stay a couple more nights in the Pantanal and then head off to a place called Bonito. Oh, look at that. Look at all. Yeah, see, they're really small, like, but you can see their skin is very beautiful. So you can understand why they were poached to almost extinction. Uh, in the 70s and 80s for their, to make wallets and that. I guess the other reason is, well, like, I don't think anybody wears alligator boots or <laughs> has an alligator wallet anymore. I mean, that's a bit shit. Like, I, I, I can even remember, I think, many years ago where people, you could actually buy that and I remember looking at it going, who the fuck would want to look at that? It looks fucking terrible. Um, it does look much better on the back of a crocodile than <laughs> as a wallet boots or a belt. Anyway, you can see one little guy here, little guy here, um, there's one over there, they're actually quite adorable little things. I'm not too sure if these are their big uh, parents over here. Um, but yeah, every so often on this road you'll see, oh there's a little kingfisher. You'll see um, these bits where they let the water go through, and it's mostly where the crocodiles, caimans, <laughs> um, uh, actually live. So there's a big boy there, there's one there. So yeah, it's, it's really good to see their numbers um, bounce back the way they have. It's very, very good. He's quite fat, this one, isn't he? But yeah, the, the skin is, it's almost like a tiger. It's got a mix of like really dark uh, brown and really dark like um, blacky uh, color. So there was a lot of birds sitting here as well, but when the motorbike goes past, it's uh, it um, obviously scares them away. So I think the best thing if you can do it here is to use a horse. <laughs> so yeah, here's a turtle. Just running away. Uh, there's a car coming, so I better keep moving. But yeah, there you go. This is uh, some of the stuff you can see here. Um, very cool. Let's punch it. Crocs everywhere. There's like 20 there. Amazing, some birds over there. Very cool. More, heaps of them. kilometers to the end and it is a dead end I think you can it kind of ends at a river and I think you can hire to get either your car bike whatever put on a boat and then move to another region but um, from what I understand it, you don't have to go all the way to the end and come back again I mean it, it, it is quite similar I mean it's just one big wetland so um, where I'm going now is about 70 k's in and I'm camping back back that way uh, 
So I'm going to not head any further than there. Um, and yeah, that's, uh, that's my plan. Um, so there's a lot of ranches, uh, mostly all the houses along here are ranches and most of them now have opened up the ranch for tourism which is where I'm staying so it's like a half cattle ranch, half uh, place where you can camp, there's rooms, all that kind of stuff. It's a very good experience because it, like, apart from that one a lot of them are like right in uh, away from the road so where mine's 3k's in from the road so um, yeah like there's no dust or anything like that which is quite good since I get enough dust during the day. <laughs> 